Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. So happy February. I can't believe we are in February and it's really cold outside, but I've had some sunny days. I know all of you have been wishing that for me and that's really been great. It's super cold and I'm not gonna complain, but it does chap my lips. And you all know that I love a good lipstick, a matte lipstick, or even like um, a lip stain that you put a little gloss over. I love those products so much. But lately, my lips have been really needing some hydration. We're in like the third month of winter with the heat on and the fireplace is on and the air is really dry and it's really bitter, cold and a little bit windy outside. So when I'm out there scattering salt in the driveway, um, my lips get really chapped. So I have been foregoing the lipstick and the lip stains and matte products all together the past week. And I've been using some of my lip balms that are tinted. They're kind of like a lipstick. I guess they're like a lip, a tinted lip balm. <laughs> I don't know what they call them on the websites for each of these companies, but I think you all kind of understand what I'm talking about. And the one I'm wearing right now, I'll show you, is the MAC Go Play and it looks like this. And all of these have hyaluronic acid in them or like cherry extract, pomegranate extract, maybe some fruit oils, um, a little bit of wax to help them grip on your lips and not slide all over the place. And they feel very lightweight and cushiony on my lips. And I'm telling you all that right now so that I don't have to repeat it as I show you each lipstick all the lipsticks that I'm going to be sharing with you meet my qualifications, which is feeling lightweight on the lips, not gooey at all. So when you rub your lips together, nothing is going to kind of stretch between your lips. There's no extra anything sliding around. They just feel balmy and cushiony and nourishing and very lightweight, but they impart enough pigment to give me a lipstick look without having to wear a lipstick. Now you can wear these with a lip liner and, or as toppers over a lipstick. And I've done that before too, but right now I am just going all in with my tinted lip balms and I'm not wearing lip liners or anything else. And these all perform beautifully. And there are so many of them out there to choose from. And I have a little sampling of my favorite brands and products and the colors that I've chosen for myself. So if you have my coloring, you might like these on yourself. But if you don't have my coloring, all of these companies have several colors in the same range. So the products that I'll be sharing with you will come in many different colors and you can choose for, choose for yourself. So in the spirit of keeping this brief, I'm just gonna share with you the products and try them on and you will find them linked in the description box so that you can read more about them on the company's website and see how much they cost. But whenever I purchase a product like this, um, they're all kind of mid-range to high range. I always wait for a Sephora sale or an Ulta sale. I use points or something like that. So whatever the price is on the website, whatever the full price is, you can certainly find better deals. Even if you just subscribe for emails, you can get like 15 or 20% off. So I'm just going to jump in and share with you my favorite tinted lip balms that are keeping my lips really soft and nourished during these bitter cold winter months. So let's just jump in and get started. The first one is one of my very favorites and it's from MAC and it's in the shade That Tickles and it's from the Go Play range. So MAC Go Play That Tickles and it does retail for $22. It has a nice secure lid so when it's in my purse, I don't have to worry about it popping off and getting all over my cosmetics case. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna swatch it right here. It's kind of like a rosewood shade. And like I said, it's called That Tickles and it's what's on my lips right now. I'm absolutely crazy about the Dior Addict lip balms, tinted lip balms. This one is the refillable kind and this was a limited edition shade. And I'm not sure what the shade was, but when I link it, I will look and write down the number. And these are refillable when they come in this 
little contraption and this is what the shade looks like this is a limited edition one so i like i said i don't know that you can still get it but it does have like the balmy center here and i'm going to go ahead and apply this one and that's what that looks like so this is the dior addict limited edition one and it has the refillable cartridge. And this is the Dior Addict Lip Glow. And I don't know if these are refillable. Um, I'll have to look on the website. And this is in 007, very mysterious. And the shade is raspberry and sort of like a raspberry slash fuchsia shade. When you look at these in the container, all of them, they're much more sheer, but they do have enough pigment, but it's not like it is in the container. So don't be scared. These come in so many different shades and I'd love to get more, but these do retail for $40. So eh, I guess I'm out of luck. <laughs> Dior Addict Lip Glow in 007. This next one is from Lancome and I've repurchased this one probably three times over the past five years. They do claim it's limited edition, but it has been in stock for about five years. And I've always purchased the same shade. I'd love to get a different shade, but every time I go in to get one when I'm out, I just reselect the same shade. And these are the La Absolue Mademoiselle Lip Shines, and they come in the gold container. They do have another tinted lip balm that comes in a silver container. And I've heard those are very good, but I haven't tried those. These are the La Absolue Mademoiselle Shine, and this one is in the shade Shine Bright. And I purchase it again and again, and it is a favorite as well. I think these are all favorites. That's why I'm sharing these with you. So it looks like this and I am getting kind of low on this one. Maybe after this one, I'll repurchase it in another shade. But let me just show you how beautiful it is. So that's what that looks like. It, imp it imparts this beautiful sort of corally pink color. I love it in the summer mainly, but when we get to the end of the winter, I love colors like this too, because I'm feeling like I have the winter doldrums and I want to brighten things up. So why not use a Lancome La Absolue Mademoiselle in Shine Bright? And I hope you like this color because I like it a lot. And this does retail for $30. Let me just show you what I'm wearing between colors. I don't think you can get this product anymore, but I'm going to link another product that's incredibly similar in case you try on a lot of different lipsticks or you just like to have like a nice kind of concealer base on your lips before you apply your lipstick. And this is from Sigma and it's called Lose the Halo. And I will link another product that's really, really good. Um, I've looked at it and kind of, swatched it because my daughter has it, but I haven't purchased it for myself, but I think it's going to be really good when I'm out of this. A little of this goes a very long way. So it's kind of like a lip concealer made for your lips. And that's what I do. That way, when you see the colors I'm applying, they're true. Okay, the next one is the newest one to my collection, and it's from Fenty Beauty, and it retails for $29, and the shade that I have is Retro Rose, and I really like this one a lot. I did read about it on the website, and this one doesn't have as many like benefit claims as a treatment and a lip balm as the other ones do, but it feels so nourishing on my lips and it really does nourish my lips. So I really don't care if it doesn't have some crazy pomegranate extract or anything like that. And so it's Retro Rose and I love this one. Okay, so this is Fenty Beauty Retro Rose, $29. Out of all of them, this one feels the balmiest to me. And they all claim to have about four to six hours of wear. Of course, if you eat, you'll need to reapply because they aren't a matte lipstick and they don't have that grip. But like I said, they are all waxy enough that there is enough grip there to make them a little bit more long wearing than 
just like a lip oil or something like that. So a couple of years ago, I had to go through this really grisly dental procedure. It was about two years ago and it was pretty awful. And when it was all done, I thought that I would treat myself to a YSL Volupt Shine Lip Oil and Stick Hydrating Lipstick Balm. <laughs> that's, a, that's a mouthful. And when they sold this one, it was in the silver container with the gold here and then the color inside. And now it's kind of reversed. They're gold with silver here. And the shade that I have isn't available right now, but the closest thing I can find to it is Show Stopping Rose. And that one's currently available. So I'll link that one down below. Um, but this is what it looks like. It looks like another kind of fuchsia or hot pink one, but again, it doesn't impart that much pigment on your lips and it's um, just balmy and sheer. And this just feels like heaven on your lips. It feels like, I don't know, just like if you feel super like moisturized and I love that feeling when my skin is really hydrated. All of these do that, but these are a little bit extra special. And it is fairly long wearing for a lip balm. I think this one, you know, you really don't need to reapply it for about, about five hours. And I can eat a little bit. Really the only thing that's going to take it off is wiping it off. So when you're eating, if you are eating like a greasy <laughs> pizza or salad or something, and you wipe your lips, you will remove it like the rest of them but um, it's beautiful. I would love to get another one of these in sort of like a warmer shade. Right now, I looked on the YSL website and some of them are $39, but some of them are $43. So yeah, these are a little bit on the higher side, but so worth it if it's like something that you're gonna use a lot. I would definitely purchase another one in a heartbeat if I knew I would get through it. But like I said, I got this one like 18 months ago and it's still going strong. Okay, this one is the Hyaluronic Happy Kiss from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pillow Talk. And it retails for $30. I love the way it feels on my lips and I love the pinky rose shade. Um, it's not light pink it's more of a rosy pink and it's exactly what i think of when i think of her pillow talk sometimes she calls a product shade pillow talk and it isn't the rosy pink that i think of and then i'm disappointed but this definitely is the right shade it's what i picture pillow talk to look like And I just think it's really comfortable to wear and just really beautiful. Okay, this is the very last one and it's from Ilia and it's their Balmy Tint Lip Balm. And I have mine in the shade Lullaby. This does come in a lot of different shades. And I did also kind of go for that rosy shade that I love so much, Pinky Rose. And this one does deliver a lot of pigment and this retails for $28. And I think it's just beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video sharing my favorite tinted lip balms. I will link all the shades that I wear down below in the description box and you can read more about each brand if you want or look at the other colors that they have. But these are just the ones that I really enjoy. And let me know, do you have a favorite of the ones I've shared with you or do you have a favorite tinted lip balm that you would like to tell all of us about. So let me know if you have a favorite and we can all share down below in the comments and see what other people like. And I hope you have a really wonderful weekend. I'll see you next time.